My name is Bernard Sweeney. I'm an Irish traveller. I grew up in Sligo. I come from a community that has been socially excluded, stripped of identity, culture, and denied the most basic of human rights. Irish travellers are the last of the Irish clans. Scientific studies put Irish travellers on this island for thousands of years. The Elizabethan conquest in the 1600s changed Ireland forever by introducing the colonial and imperial systems designed to replace the Irish mentality with an English mentality. The destruction of the Celtic culture was meticulously planned. Over centuries, the Irish were to be made to be British. As I lay in bed This formed the mentality of the Irish settled population and give its term settled. There was a divergence as Irish travellers had refused to adopt the English colonial mentality. At the end of the 19th century, after the catastrophic events of the famine, The destruction of the Celtic culture was almost complete. But out of the embers of resistance, a new cultural movement, the Celtic revival was born. This had inspired the movement of independence and the rising in 1916. In 1922, Ireland did not change any of the colonial systems or its educational institutions, but rather kept the existing English systems and had called them by a different name. In 1963, the Irish government had commissioned a report into itinerancy that laid out plans to incarcerate travellers, strip us of our civil liberties, our human rights, the incarcerated children into particular homes. The Irish traveller was seen as an outsider, non-indigenous, a problem for the state, and so has led to the misunderstanding Mm and the persecution of travellers and their way of life. Instead, had tried to assimilate the Irish travellers into a colonial mentality that was eradicating the culture of Irish travellers. If you have not changed the systems, you cannot change the mentality. And if you have not changed the mentality, you cannot expect different outcomes from the same colonial systems that have been in existence for centuries. Who are the Irish travellers? Our community, our culture, our way of life is who we are. When I'm dead and my sorrows end Molly born a story Come and lay me down